Hello, this is Randy Smith with Vicinity Brew Software. I wanted to take just a couple of minutes to talk about the creation of a new item for production in Vicinity Brew and talk a bit about the components and the process um, associated with uh, creating those records. Vicinity Brew um, has got really kind of two parts to it in setting up of an item. There's the actual inventory item itself, we call that a component, but there's also a formula associated with each inventory item that we have. Uh, so for, as an example, let me just go ahead and pull up my, uh, uh, my wart item, which is the result of uh, the brewing process. So I've got an inventory item called wart that is created that I'll always be able to see quantity on hand in the cellar of the results of a brewing process. To create an inventory item uh, that is manufactured, we uh, refer to the subcomponent section and we basically we're saying to make this wort, it requires the processing of brewing. So there's a relationship between the component ID and a formula that's being assigned. Um, if it were a packaging item, there'd be some bill of material associated with it as well. So let's talk a little bit about how easy it is to create a new item. Let's say a new style of beer. Um, in this case, we'll focus in on wort. So uh, what I want to do is I want to create a new style of beer, and I'll, I'll start by uh, creating the wort item. So VB uh, Lager as an example, and I'll just say this is uh, the wort item that we're talking about. Uh, now I can sit here and I can key all of this information in like a stocking unit measure and description and all that or I could go and grab an item very similar to it. So in this case I'm going to go ahead and pick up my IPA item and I'm going to go ahead and pick up my IPA wort because it's very similar in, in how it's handled. Uh, things like its unit of measure are the same. The, uh, the how we set up the relationship to a formula is the same, etc. So I can leverage off of work that I've already done previously. So I'll just say that I'm um, changing the description to VB Lager Wart. Uh, um, and then the other piece that I want to deal with is this formula. Uh, so we're talking basically about the grain bill and the, the water and, and all of the uh, associated processes with the brewing. Um, right now, this item is associated with the VBIPA brewing formula. Um, if I want to go and take a look at that, I can just navigate to the formula itself. So here's VBIPA brewing. Um, and this would show me the grain bill that I've got for my IPA. Now I can do the same thing I did with an inventory item that I did. Uh, that I can do the same thing with a formula as I did with an inventory item. So for example, I can come in and say I want to create a new item. Uh, let's say um, in a new formula and say VB uh, Lager and we'll just call it brewing as the brewing process. Um, I can copy then from an existing formula that I've got in my system. So in this case, I'll copy from my IPA because the process of brewing IPA for me is very similar to my process of brewing a lager. And so I'm just going and creating that and saying, yep, that's the one I want to use as my template. And I copied everything in and I can just modify by exception. Now, um, for the first looking at uh, the system, it may not look like a lot happened here, but know that the entire grain bill, but also the process or the definition of how I brew has also been copied over. So in both IPA and lager, I'm using the brew house, the mash tun, the lauder tun, the brew kettle, the various stages of brewing, and then I can come in and adjust this for my lager. I can come in and adjust my raw materials, um, my, so I can change out my malt, I can change out my my hops and, and change the quantities associated with that. I can also take this further uh, in vicinity brew. We have the ability to define different processes. Uh, so I can set up the times and temperatures that might be slightly different from my IPA to my lager, etc. But the point I'm, take, I'm, I'm making here is that I'm able to, uh, without really much effort at all, create a new formula from an existing formula. So I now have my VB IPA lager brewing process defined and it was just a matter of copying and making some changes. Once I've done that I can come in and change out my formula. So if I want to I can just come in and say lager as an example and I've now just associated that formula VB IPA VB lager brewing to this wort save the record and I'm done. So that's all it is to create an item. Uh, you can copy from one to the next. That's what most people do. And then once the copy is done, you can make the changes. 
I hope that helps and uh, we look forward to working with you with Vicinity Brew.